Well, hello, and welcome to Stop, Let's Team Up, My Legion Adventure, Episode 25. We will be covering the amazing Adventure Comics 309 from June 1963. So, uh, three months earlier than that was when it came out, but that's the cover date. So, May, April, March, 63. I'm still not born. We're 25 appearances Legion of Superheroes, and I am still nowhere near. Um... It is the first story in this issue. It's a 17-pager. It's a long one. It's, it's got two parts. Um, the name of the story is The Legion of Super Monsters. Part one is Legion of Super Monsters. Part two is The Legion's Super Showdown. Um, credits, Mort Weisinger, editor Plotter. Plotter, scripter, Edmund Hamilton. Penciler, John Forte. Letterer, Milton Schnappen. It has a lovely cover by Kurt Swan. Woohoo! George Klein, woohoo, and Irish Shop. Um, and the headline on the cover is The Fake Superboy from Krypton. It's, I don't know that one. I don't think I've read that one. I, this is one of the comics that I did not have in my run, uh, but I had as a reprint. And in this, I'm reading it from, it's not on the app, so I had to read it on Archive Volume 2. Um, the lineup is Saturn Girl, Chameleon Boy, Colossal Boy, Sun Boy, Bouncing Boy, Ultra Boy, Monel. Brainiac 5. The villain is Jungle King, a.k.a. Monster Master. Um, first name never revealed. His last name, King, is revealed in issue 324. Um, this is his first appearance, and he dies. The Legion of Super Monsters. Earthquake Beast, Eye Monster, Mirror Monster, Drill Beast, Omni Beast. Um, and they're first, they're only up to date. Um, we get to see another failed applicant, Rainbow Girl. We get to see her get a little her belt. Um, let's go through the synopsis that is in the wonderful Legion of Superhero Index. I'm going to post a picture of this again on the site so you guys can look it up on eBay. I got a complete set. It, they're great. I love them. Um, and I love the other stuff. Uh, synopsis. After re being... Uh, synopsis. After being rejected for membership, Jungle King, Master of Animals, vows revenge on the Legion. Traveling to Monster World, a planet legendary for its dangerous animal life, he gathers several super-powered creatures. After them loading them aboard his spaceship, he sets out to terrorize the universe with his Legion of Super Monsters, which succeeds in overcoming the Legion. Eventually, the Legion tracks down Jungle King back to Monster World and defeats his super beasts in combat. Before their foe can escape, he is attacked by a gas creature, which he had rejected as too weak for his Legion, its ability to vaporize anything it grabs destroys him. Um, I like this one. This one was uh, silly fun. Um, and I don't mean that in a bad way. Silly fun is silly fun. It's fun. It's just silly. Uh, it is definitely... Um, it's a great... One of those great, long, two-part Legion stories and adventure. Um, you know, it, in the first couple pages, the Legion is going... Um, it's pages two and three. Two, you see them all being being lectured on today's lesson. This is their professor speaking. Today's lesson, we will teach you how to figure the tenth order equations of the fourth dimension. Um, and remember that in the equation of z over x times pi squared, the fourth dimension infinity constant is, of course, the alt it, it's just really silly. And they're all at different places with monitors. We see there, it's not the monitor board. It's the map of the universe with people's faces splatted on it. Um, uh, Matter Eater Lad is near some planets. Uh, Shrinking Violet is on the planet Zoldar. Superboy's at home. Ultra Boy and Monel are out by some ring planet. Invisible Kids somewhere. You know, and Saturn Girl and Brainiac 5 are kind of looking at the thing. Again, um, the John Forte art, as I say, it looks great. Um, it's imaginative. Um, and s I think the beasts are kind of silly, and I think they're meant to be kind of silly. Uh, I think they're for, they're writing this for kids. And there's no, you know, as a 58-year-old man, I can enjoy a comic written for kids. But there's a funness to this. There's a fun element to this. And they world build. Again, world build, world build, world build. You know, they introduce the characters, they give them names. Um, the, you know, it's a little talky, but you get to go to Comet City. Uh, the, there's Sky City, which is built above to escape the deadly smog of the planet Kor, K-O-R-R. -R. Um, and the city almost falls over, but the, you know, because the earthquake creature um, 
makes it unstable, but, you know, they jump, the Legion, of course, jump in their spaceship and pull it forward, and that's a cliffhanger for part one. Um, and then they go to, Mon- they get to Monster World, and Bouncing Boy screws it up, so they, it takes a little longer, and Chameleon Boy, and disguises himself as different animals. It's just a lot of fun. Um, well worth reading and enjoying, as I have, I mean, I've liked all of them, but this one was a little fun, it was a little silly. Um, I like the world building in it, as I said. Um, you get to see this guy. Uh, they skip beats. Like, he, you know, he fails his, it, you know, it, he loses concentration, and then this animal he brought, he's controlling, attacks him. But, you know, they, Sun Boy, you know, shoots it away with fire, and then they, you know, they reject him, and they say that he raged about it, but he didn't say anything, except in the next panel he's on a spaceship, and he's saying, and he tells us he's angry. So there's, there's uh, telling, not showing, which can be a problem in storytelling, and you know, but this one is such a a, a, a creature of 1963. I think it holds up. This is one I didn't really remember, and um, I still it's kind of fresh because I didn't remember it. It did. It, it didn't spark a memory that I read it. I re- recognized the monsters. That was about it. But I really enjoyed it this time. Um, uh, we got a lot of these, but we got a big story coming up. We got. Two big, the next two issues are really kind of big and exciting, so I'm looking forward to them. Um, but this was a nice, you know, little read. I read it last night, and then I read it again today, and then I read it right before we recorded. Um, it was enjoyable. You know, it held up. It's I'm really enjoying. I I think there's a change in the quality of the writing, and I'm preferring Hamilton over uh, Jerry C- Jerry Spiegel. Um, but that I think I've always been that way. So, but I've really enjoyed it. It's pretty, it's a nice reprint in the archive. This archive's almost 30 years old. I didn't realize how long ago these came in, but, you know, it was, it was fun. And I'm looking forward to, next issue is uh, Adventure 310, and the title of that one is The Doom of Superheroes. Uh, There's a guy in a lead mask, and I know the answer to the question, uh, who he is, but we'll find that out later. Um, Thursday, we're going to, okay, one, Wednesday, I'm not going to do Len Wine. I'm not ready. I need to read, I really want to be a good, um, four comics into, um, read four random, not random, but four important comics he wrote. So I have something to talk about and I'm going to give myself another week to do that. I'll do it over the weekend. Uh, so Thursday is Defenders number two, some more glorious Steve Englehart, Sal Buscema, non-team fun, um, and this weekend, I'm not sure what I'm doing. I have a couple options, and it may just be a surprise of a silly little comic uh, pulled out. Then I'm like, yeah, maybe I'll talk about that. Um, I just bought, I just haven't, you know, I haven't read last week's new books, and I won't get this week's until next week because I only go to the comic shop every two weeks. Um, I may do a little review of some comics. How's that? And see what you think. I pull. I, I got a nice eclectic. I think eclectic. I'm, you know, I'm reading more indies and floppy. Uh, and I got something called the Lo- uh, the Lonesome Hunters, uh, and it's really good. And I want to talk about it. Um, I also want to talk about my take on where the Avengers are right now because it is a book that I as important to me as Legion, um, and I'm enjoying the Jason Aaron stuff overall. Uh, but I just want to kind of talk about it. So we're go- that's probably going to be what Saturday is. So, Folks, so please uh, give us a rating. You know, give us a review on your podcasting field, a thing of choice. Please, if you, even if you don't listen to us on YouTube, I would I mean a like and a subscribe and uh, the bell would be a little helpful. And, you know, maybe watch a few episodes or listen to a few episodes on that. I have not yet done another video one. Life has gotten crazy around here, and I'm just busy, and I really, um, I'm, pro- you know, I may do want something on Sunday, a little test drive again, um, because I've got some time, and I'm going out of town two weekends in a row coming up, so I'm going to do some episodes in advance, and that might be a good start, maybe that'll be another review episode, we'll see, but also, uh, I'll put up another poll for another team up, um, um, uh, but not probably for a couple of days. I'm going to give that a little breather because I've got, you know, planning some other stuff. Uh, I'd like suggestions. So, you know, reach out to us uh, at our email at stop. Let's team up at gmail.com. That's just one word. Stop. Let's team up. Uh, no punctuation. Uh, and, you know, give me suggestions. Um, I'm, I'm here. I'd like to hear them. Uh, you can DM me on Twitter. You know, I'm on there most days, checking in and out at work. Maybe not 
more than I should. But um, So please give me some input. I'd really appreciate it. Um, I don't really have any shout-outs today except to some of the wonderful people on Twitter I've been interacting with today. Um, and the last day, um, I just posted my dream as of today, my dream as of today, what my lineup would be of Justice Society. So check that out. I picked 15 kind of 15. 16 kind of interesting, I think a good group from beginning to end. Um, and it was inspired by a, a short conversation on Twitter about the Black Adam trailer and representation on it um, with uh, at symbol pending. And it was interesting. Um, it was a nice conversation. I was interested in what she said, uh, what she said and what the what um, her take. She's a big Power Girl fan, so I can respect that because I'm a huge Power Girl fan, I, you know, since uh, All Star Comics 58. So I anybody who's a Power Girl fan is I think is got a good head on their shoulders. So, folks, um, we'll be back next week with Adventure Comics 310. Um, but until then, do me a favor. Um, wash your hands. Wear a mask when you're in. in near people this there's another surge coming folk i work in healthcare. believe me um i got it again just be careful all right uh so be smart be safe be kind and read some comics <laughs>